Hey guys, how's it going? Sam here with another Nomad Survival video. And today we're going to be wrapping up the pets videos. We're going to combine all three of these last pets together just because they're not used as much as the raccoon and the fox. The raccoon and the fox are definitely the MVPs in regards to all of these pets, but the other ones definitely playable and normal. But if you're going for like a high gemstone run or maybe say you're farming for coins or you want to make your life a little bit easier, fox and raccoon, definitely the strongest. But Anyways, I'm going to start with the cat. The cat is kind of like a berserker, pretty much, uh, of the pets, if I had to say. So it's special, it's territorial offense, and it moves towards the nearest enemy if they get too close to the player and they attack them once every second. So kind of like, you know, let's say magic missiles, for example, targets those things that are close to you. And then you get to recover 10 HP whenever this cat crits. That's freaking awesome and it does not bypass the berserker heritage so this does not heal you if you're playing berserker just be aware of that the traits that you're able to get the boat bonuses skills are going to be damage and critical damage so it's just purely like every single pet has pet damage up that's just across the board and then there's damage and there's critical damage so since there's five levels and there's two of these that's going to be 20% damage increase, which is huge. So definitely, even if you're not playing a cat, if you have extra souls, definitely put points into this. It's very helpful because these carry over to everything. And then critical damage, it's going to be 15%, so 30% total. That's huge. That's a lot of crit damage. So definitely recommend it. Even if you don't, you know, run too much crit, maybe pick up like one crit chance. It's going to be really helpful. The gemstone skill for the first one, furious swipe. So every fifth attack this pet does is always a critical and the pet moves 20% faster to an enemy per level of this trait. So it's going to be moving 100% faster once you get this maxed out. And then every fifth attack is that critical. And it works really well with this is because you recover 10 HP whenever it, it crits. So that's going to be, you know, HP every single time the skill goes off. Very, very helpful. Nice combination. Not like crazy, but still really good. And then we got Feline Spirit for its last gemstone skill. Every 30 seconds, increase the player's damage and critical damage by 30%. It lasts for 2 seconds per level, just like all the other ones. And it's not modified by duration or cooldown. So 10 seconds, and every 10 sec or sorry, every 30 seconds, for 10 seconds, you get an increase damage and critical damage. I don't think this is like that important, really. That's why I don't see people playing the cat very often, and I don't really ever pick the cat, honestly. Uh, because damage, not something you really have to worry about right now, especially after major or major update number five, our damage is kind of already bonkers. So this just makes it even more insane, but it's definitely not like a need. And that's why I say it's not as important as the fox and the raccoon. Moving on to the owl. So the owl, his skill is called raptor talons, which is funny because I don't think our owls technically, no, owls aren't raptors. <laughs> anyways so every three seconds it moves towards a random enemy and instantly kills it so that's really nice this pet does not target boss enemies that'd be kind of busted and all damage up bonuses instead increases the movement speed so all of your damage bonuses across the board we have five of them it's going to make this character move a lot faster and it attacks every three seconds which is really good that's pretty consistent and then its unique passive is it recovers 20 SP, well, you recover 20 SP whenever this pet attacks an enemy. So every three seconds, you're going to get 20 SP. That's actually kind of crazy. That's a lot. So especially after the nerfs to SP regen, the owl is really, really strong. So if you want to cast your ability more often, the owl is a really good choice. Again, pet damage up is always going to be here. And then for the other two, we got skill size and critical chance. So skill size, I think skill size is great. It's always good to have bigger abilities across the board. It makes them do more damage, makes them hit more enemies. All around just really nice. And then critical chance, this is also just a free 10% critical chance increase. So definitely put points into this if you have extra souls. It's very, very important. And then skill size, just again, if you have extra souls, put points into these. It's so, so helpful. Moving on to the first gemstone. We have watch and learn. Whenever the player instantly kills an enemy, the attack of this pet is refreshed. This pet moves 20% faster to an enemy per level of this trait, so it's going to be 100% once you get it maxed out. Now, the owl works really, really well with the cultist. The cultist obviously instantly kills enemies with its weapon skill, so that's going to work in great combination with this. And if you know, you look at this, it recovers 20 SP whenever this 
pet attacks an enemy. So if you combine this with the instant kills of the cultist, you're going to be attacking multiple times. That means you're going to be regening more SP. You know, this means that the cultist is going to attack more. Overall, it's a really good combo. So definitely recommend playing the owl with the cultist. It's a great, great, great team. And then the last gemstone skill is called avian spirit. Again, just like all the other pets, they have one like this. So every 30 seconds, it increases the player's critical chance rate by 30%. It lasts for 2 seconds per level of this trait. So it's going to be 10 seconds is how long it lasts. This one, not that insane. I mean, if you do level up crit chance in game, this is going to push you to about, I think, 100% actually when this is going off. So if you just want a ton of damage, totally recommend it. This would work really, really well with the... Uh, Radfolk Archer with the new like machine gun path that you can go kind of you just shoot a ton of arrows It's great Having a hundred percent crit chance with that kind of insane you do a lot of damage The only bad thing is like this doesn't work really well with the cultist because the cultist doesn't matter if you crit or not You're just dealing a ton of damage. So Overall the owl it's a very fun class it works really well with the cultist in particular But overall again, it's not really a need This is more of just like if this is your preferred play style definitely pick the owl Lastly, we're going to move on to the Hedgehog. The Hedgehog I actually really enjoyed when it first came out. I was trying to do a lot of stupid things, um, but it just didn't work out because the animal moves too much. So it's special, Defense Curl. Enemies that run into this pet are damaged. So uh, if you play League of Legends, it's like Thornmail, you know, as it gets touched, it takes damage. It's nice. And then your retaliation damage is increased by 50%. That's really nice. The only bummer is that it doesn't really work with those high gemstone runs because if you put enemy movement at 100 or 300 percent they're pretty much always going to be hitting you there's never a time for you to actually get off that retaliation proc so that's kind of the unfortunate thing as always pet damage up is here for these ones we have defense and max hp so defense just plus one and max hp plus five percent so I mean, this is a 50% HP increase once you combine both of these, and then this is a 10 defense increase, which is huge, by the way. So, I would say out of, you know, the cat and the owl and the hedgehog, the first one I would put into is the hedgehog. That's just purely because I'm a more defensive player. I think living longer is more important than doing damage, because if you die, you don't get to do damage anymore. <laughs> so, living is a little bit more important. However, I mean, obviously, if you do more damage, nothing hits you, so... However your playstyle is, definitely go in that direction. In regards to the special quills, enemies that run into this, into the player, so yourself, are damaged based on the player's damage and max HP. The total damage is increased by 20% per level, so increased by 100%, that's crazy. And anything that runs into you is damaged based on your damage as well as your max HP. So this works really, really well in combination with the knight as you're just obviously piling everything onto you. And this doesn't say anything about if you evade damage, right? So if you co combine this with miniaturize and the knight and all those enemies are just running on top of you, it's a ton of damage. And the other nice thing is it actually procs damage very often. So if you're running death sting, this is a lot of damage occurrences for death sting to proc and you just get to one shot the enemies. It's really fun. It's a very interesting play style, but you don't move a lot. So if you're more of a like a person that likes to move around when you play these games, don't recommend that combination. The last one, it's special. Uh, I can't pronounce that. I'm pretty sure that's the species name or the family name. Um, <laughs> but so every 30 seconds, it increases your defense by 10, your retaliation by five. It's gonna last for 10 seconds once you get this maxed out. This is really, really strong, honestly. A 10 defense increase on top of another 10 defense increase. That's huge. That's a lot of defense. I mean, you have 30 defense just from having this hedgehog in general. So, highly recommend you playing this if you're having any issues with living for whatever reason, or if you just want to go like a glass cannon build. The hedgehog is a good combination because it really helps you just live. Lastly, just kind of the most important thing with pets in general, is if you ever have extra souls and you ever have extra gemstones, make sure that you're leveling these guys up. These always work no matter what pet you have out. This pa this is a passive trait and the bonus affects the player. This bonus is active at all times even if this pet is not selected. So you just need to take all of these pets as basically another unlock or sorry, upgrade store. 
it's the same exact thing it does the same thing for you sometimes a little bit better because i mean look i only get plus one defense here granted it costs coins so it might be a little bit easier for you but as you play the game you're going to be getting a lot of souls and gems are really the only difficult thing for some people to get definitely recommend watching the gems guide so i'm gonna have to make more of those with the change after but it's just it's very very simple for you to put points into this and get great stat benefits so i highly recommend if you have any extra souls if you have any extra gems just make sure you're leveling all of the pets not just focusing on the one pet that you play because these stat bonuses are going to be helpful across the board in any situation in this game it's just overall great so if you guys have any questions about the pets definitely let me know down below if you have any questions about like when to use which one i'll do my best to recommend you based off my play style and if you play a different way just test around there's no negative to picking any of these guys they're all super helpful i think the pets are a great addition to the game so i highly recommend that you always pick the raccoon but <laughs> other than that guys really appreciate all the support if you made it this far like and subscribe and as always hope to see you on the next one